Welcome to SolidFire, creating SolidFire objects with Postman. In this video, we're going to show you how to create an account and create volumes using Postman and SolidFire. Let's get started. First, let's add an account. And we want to do this simply. We'll target the environment that we have listed in Postman. We're simply going to name this with username test user. And we have optional parameters that we can choose for initiator and target secret, but we want the system to generate those. So we'll go ahead and delete those values. Once complete, we'll hit send. And you'll see in the return that we have an account ID of two. This is a new account ID. Let's go look at the details on that. We'll use the get account by ID call, enter two. And when we look, we see that we have test user with system generated target and initiator secrets. Let's see how this looks if we want to go back and list all of the available accounts. We're going to recall list accounts. And now we see that there's a Josh account and we also have a test user account that we just created. Now let's suppose that we want to create an account using custom initiator and target secrets. You'll note that we have in the variable there optional initiator secret and optional target secret. We simply need to replace those with the value that we want. We'll put a little gibberish in for initiator secret, but we also have to validate that this is between 12 and 16 characters. So we'll do a little trim there. And then for the target secret, we're going to place a different value. That value will probably be a super secret target secret, and we'll call it target secret. And we'll add a number just to make sure that's a little more secure. Let's hit send. And we should get an account ID return, which we did, which is number three. We can go to get account by ID. We go back up and enter the number three and we get our information. You see our gibberish for initiator secret and we see target secret 12 for target. Now let's create some solid fire volumes. First let's take a look at the active volumes that we have on the system. We'll choose the list active volumes, hit send, and you see that we are unable to post that JSON data. The reason being is, is that the call requires that we provide a starting volume ID. Everything with volumes is related to a volume ID. We don't really want to limit. We want to return all of them. So we're going to go ahead and remove uh, that parameter. And when we hit send, we're going to get a list of all of the volumes that are on the system and the related information with them, such as the IOPS profile. You'll see here that this volume is named Postman Test. It's an existing volume. So let's go and create a net new volume. When we do this, we have a few extra parameters that we have. The first most important is the account ID. That is a requirement uh, in order to create a volume. It has to be associated with an account. We'll provide a total size, which needs to be a multiple of 1 million. And we have the opportunity to enable the 512-bit in emulation. We also have the opportunity to define the QoS profile of the volume. But in this case, I want to take the system defaults. One of the features of SolidFire volume is the ability to create attributes. And in this example, it's not necessary, so we'll remove that as well. Now we'll hit send. Now you know that we get an error because, silly me, I did not replace the volume name. This is common to miss things. Fortunately, the error returns are uh, reasonable and they, they help you sort that out, so we'll fix that. And what's returned is the QoS curve, um, and the ID there is not the volume ID. That is just the call ID. Um, so the volume ID was below, it was number two. So when we do list active volumes, you can see now that we have our test volume and its volume ID is two. And that concludes our examples of deploying volumes and accounts with SolidFire on Postman. We hope you enjoyed the video.